I feel really far from home. When weirdly enough, I'm the closest to home I've ever been. We made it to my second cousin's apartment um, here in Bogota. I am so tired, guys. I have quite a story to tell. Uh Ready? Yeah. We have to deboard. And I have to reschedule all my flights. Okay, here we go. Oh, Hello from the airport. Um, so this morning we were supposed to be on the flight to go to Bogota, Colombia, where I will be living for the next three months. But the first flight had mechanical issues, which led it to be delayed over two hours, which meant that I was going to miss my layover oh, in Atlanta, which now means that uh, I am leaving tomorrow morning again at 6.15 in the morning, which means again, I have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning. We're still going. We're leaving tomorrow. I get to see my baby again. I'm gonna smoke a fat joint, eat a breakfast sandwich, and then take a nap, and it's gonna be a good day regardless. We just got my bags. It took like 30 minutes. I've been awake since 3 a.m. It's now 9 a.m. Fun. Six hours at the airport to go back home. Um, but yeah, that's the update. Also, I got a haircut. I got a curly mullet. What do you think? I think it's spicy. I think I look Colombian. How fun is that? The life of a nomad includes a lot of shitty travel, so I'm just getting used to it. Bye. We made it to day two of trying to get to Colombia. All I can say is yesterday, was not the vibes. Yesterday we weren't meant to travel. Um, I don't have much to say, that, that's the update. We're waiting on two flight attendants for the flight, but I think we're good. I think we're getting to Colombia today. At least that's the hope. Oh, yesterday, I'm so glad I had that extra day with Gio because honestly, I needed it. There's so much less pressure. And when you're doing a long distance relationship, you put so much pressure on that like last day together because you know, it's supposed to be magical. You're not gonna see each other for a few months. Like we were making out, I'm on my period. So that was a bummer. <laughs> I'm uh, really glad I got to spend some extra time with him. We watched the French Dispatch last night, by the way, that's gonna, definitely affect my editing style, especially the way they do their captions. I thought was so fucking smart. So if you're trying to get into editing and creating films, start watching more movies. Same way if you want to be a writer, you have to read hella books. It just makes sense. Okay, I'm checking out. Um, Cause I'm gonna read and probably keep listening to Light My Love by Greta something. So, Mwah. bye. We got upgraded, but not only that, check out this cheese board. I honestly forgot the perks of international travel, which includes a free meal and also complimentary alcohol. So we got a cheese platter to go with our wine. We got fruit, chocolate, two different types of cheeses, apricots, some of these delicious crackers. It was just a really nice experience before I landed in Colombia. Bueno. Good.
过了，请期待我上的主。大家我们店的熟人，好，就是要努力去买书本，要多一些。El muerto al hoyo y el vivo al rollo. El muerto al hoyo y el vivo al rollo. Entonces que sigue rodando. Ah, sí. Sí, exacto. Y también por eso estoy aquí. Quiero saber más de todo. Frío. Vamos por dentro. So I put chips, cheese, a pink sauce, what I think is honey mustard, regular mustard, and ketchup on a hot dog. It's actually something I grew up with because my mom's Colombian from Cali, and in Cali, they eat their hot dogs, perros calientes, with the chips, or salsa rosa, and with pineapple on it. It's so good, it's so good. Ah. This isn't bad though. Cost me around 7,000 Colombian pesos. Which is about like a dollar fifty. Today has been my favorite day so far in Bogota because I actually ventured off by myself. I don't know why I was so scared. My family, they were kind of warning me about not to have my camera out, try not to go to the park with all your things, including your computer and stuff, which by the way, I'm at the park with all my things. Not to go to certain parts, but I didn't know which parts they were talking about. And so, honestly, I got a little paranoid, but I did my research and I joined an expats Facebook group. And that's literally, like, I have to remember to do that more often. I don't know why I just didn't think about it this time. I asked people, okay, where should I go? What are cool little coffee shops to work in? And they told me to go to Calle 70, which is 70th Street, I guess. And there, that felt more walkable. I am getting the ganas, AKA the will and the balls to uh, venture out more by myself. And that's, I guess, what this whole trip is about, no? I am currently at Parque Simón Bolívar. If you don't know about Simón Bolívar, well, he was Colombia's liberator from Spain. Well, actually, multiple countries liberator from Spain. That includes Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia, I think. I might be mistaken if I'm missing some, I'm sorry. But um, all of that was called Gran Colombia. And that's why all the flags are really similar. We, we have the yellow, blue, and red, but some of them have included emblems to distinguish themselves from the other countries, you know? But it's also why our cultures are so intertwined and have a lot of similarities. So for example, arepas. I thought I loved Colombian arepas. I have learned so far, I fucking hate Colombian arepas. Colombian arepas are ass. That's just my opinion. Why? Because they're flatter, drier, and normally they don't have like salt. Like it's 
pretty plain and people use it almost like a tortilla but personally i think tortillas even taste better than colombian arepas what i do like and what i grew up eating which i didn't know was actually venezuelan arepas which are thicker juicier you can slice them open stick some cheese in that bitch oh it's so good but those are venezuelan arepas i'm hoping to find after this a panaderia because i really want some pan de bono you know what i should have gotten instead of a hot dog they had fried chicken why didn't i get fried chicken i love fried chicken and french fries you live and you learn man anyway let's go explore this park la yuca, sí. la muelen, uh -huh. la forma una masa. Uy, qué rico. ¿Cómo llamas esto? Pastel. Pastel, de Pastel de yuca. Pastel de yuca. Aquí está el picante. Uy, qué rico. Una pregunta porque hay un problema en la familia. De todos. ¿Es el, el, ¿Te gusta el trago? Sí. Sí. Ah, entonces sí. ¿Qué es de la familia? <risa> problema de alcohol. <risa> sí, yo estaba hablando con Betty por eso. <risa> Qué rico, entonces tiene un poco de carne molido, arroz, arroz yuca y huevo. Uh -huh. Qué rico. ¿Y este otro? Uh -huh. Wow. Y este es el papa, papa rellena. Rellena. Yo acá tengo jugos de, de, de sobre sin azúcar. De pronto. Mira, ahí está el, el, el huevo. El huevito. ¿Cómo se llama ese pajarraco en inglés? El cornil. It's been harder than expected been really nice but like I I feel really lonely it's hard to get used to uh, not having your person with you anymore and so I'm getting used to the emotions of solo traveling again and I guess like I wanted to uh, come here and film this because this is a big part of the first few days of solo traveling you got it like emotionally it's a fucking roller coaster and you feel really lonely and you're scared and you can get overwhelmed at least i get overwhelmed pretty easily um so just like trying to navigate the city i just miss my best friend and i don't want to make myself feel guilty because i'm supposed to be happy that i'm traveling again you know this is supposed to be a good thing but I'm sad. I miss my family. Fuck, man. This is hard. <sighs> but like my tío Alfonso said, el vivo el rollo. We gotta keep going.
qué rico. 